Do we have quorum? I'm asking you, do we have quorum? Yes. Well, yeah, we do. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, great. Do any staff joining us? Or no. Okay. Oh, no, Daniel, staff. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, let's still leave this. I can't see your faces. <laughs> um, I'm going to be chairing the meeting today um, as the vice chair, and I will go ahead and call the meeting to order. It's 12.31 p.m., and I'll just start by acknowledging that we are currently situated on the traditional unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, Tlaibatooth, Coquitlam, and KC nations. Um, and for some of us who might be joining online, you may be situated on other lands other than the uh, aforementioned. And I encourage everyone um, to uh, think about what being situated on these lands means for you um, and our role as settlers in terms of uh, reconciliation in the context of student society and advocacy and our role in that. We'll start with roll call of attendance. And I'll just ask everyone to share their name, their pronouns, and their access needs. And what I'll do is probably just start from Ashana. Um, we'll go around the table this way, and then I'll end at Danielle on Zoom. So, Ashana. Hey everyone, my name is Ishana, she, her pronouns, and all my access needs are met. Hey everyone, my name is Gabe Leo, says my pronouns are he, him, his. My access needs are met, eh, except actually, um, 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 I need to leave late as 2 p.m. I don't think the meeting's going to go that long. Um, I didn't tell that to you, but I need to leave at 2 p.m. just to get back to Maple Ridge for 3 p.m. Um, but other than that, my access needs are met. Hi, everyone. My name's Danielle. Um, my access needs are met. Um, my pronouns are she, her. Hi, everyone. I'm Grayson. Uh, he, him pronouns, and all my access needs are met. Hi, I'm Rujo, of Eager Pronouns and all my students as well. Fantastic. And those on Zoom? Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Daniel, and my accessibility meets okay. are next. Oh. Did you? Can you go big on Zoom? Yeah. Sorry, just one moment, please. Go click on the little arrow beside that. And then, wow. OK. Um, uh, the speaker needs to be it's on the right. like HGMI. Oh. Yeah. Can you hear us now? Can you say something? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, how's my voice? Yeah. Oh, go, go big. I think that's right. Try one more time. Yeah. Hello. Oh, it's so much better. Okay. The floor is yours. Come ahead. You never know, right? All right. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Daniel. My accessibility uh, needs are met. Awesome, thanks so much. We haven't missed anyone. I don't think so. We'll move into um, adopting our agenda. No, excuse me. We have the consent agenda first, and so we have one motion under the consent agenda, um, which is to receive and file the minutes from the January twentieth meeting. Um, and so how the consent agenda works is it'll be approved by unanimous consent unless anyone else um, does not agree with it being adopted by unanimous consent. And in that case, we would just vote on it and it would be adopted by majority. But um, I'll just pose the question. Does anyone object to approving the minutes from January to, uh, the meeting on January 20th? No, seeing none, we'll consider that carried unanimously then. And we'll move into item number five, which is adopting our agenda. And the motion reads, be resolved to adopt the agenda as presented. Does somebody want to move the motion? Thank you, external. Ishana moves. Is there a second? I second. Uh, Grayson seconds. Um, it's, so it's been moved and seconded that the adopted the agenda, that the agenda be adopted as presented. I don't know what I said there. Um, is there any discussion? Questions or amendments to be made to the agenda, Shauna? Yeah, I'd like to make one amendment. I'm putting it in the chat. Um, sorry, let me just read it out loud for accessibility and folks tuning in online. The motion is called, sorry, I can't read it. The motion is called 
um, compensation for international students, whereas the VP external is making an award for indigenous students and international students, whereas consultations are, ha are currently happening with students, where students should be compensated during these consultations, be it resolved to pass $350 for consultations. All right. So Shauna is moving to amend the agenda to add the motion that she just read a lot verbally. Is there a second to add that amendment to the agenda? We need to vote on adding that. I second it. Good job. Seconds. Um, any discussion on the amendment to the agenda? Seeing none, we'll vote on adding this to the agenda. Um, does anyone object to adding it to the agenda? Otherwise, we'll consider it approved unanimously. Consider it approved unanimously. We'll move on then to back to the main motion, which is adopting the agenda, which is now amended to include that motion. Does anyone have any last minute uh, items to add before we adopt our agenda for this meeting? Seeing none, um, we'll consider the agenda adopted then unanimously. So we can jump right into new business, which is section 10. And we have our first motion, 10.1, which is titled Beer Craft Social. And this was submitted by Shauna for the committee's consideration. The motion reads, whereas the External and Community Affairs Committee is planning a lunch or dinner social, whereas the lunch will take place at Beer Craft on SFU campus, be resolved past $200 for the ECA social at Beer Craft. Is there a mover for the motion? UK External. Ishana moves. Is there a second? I'll second. Grayson seconds. So it's been moved and seconded to pass $200 for the ECA social. Uh, Ishana, did you want to provide context? Or yeah, please. Yeah, so um, I did the math for us. If I'm going to pass about $25 per person, and I just added like an extra 30 ish dollars if we need be. Um, so then when we go there, we can just eat chill. Um, I feel like it can also be a time where just like getting to know each other more since we will be working a lot over the next few months. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the reasoning, the financials that went into it. If anyone has any questions, feel free to ask me. I did send an email to everyone uh, proposing a date and time, which was next Friday, so a week from now at 6 p.m. at Beer Craft. How does that work for the folks in the room and on Zoom? Works for me. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, uh, that works for me. Okay, great. I love to hear it. Okay, so in, in that case, I'm seeing no more uh, uh, questions or comments or discussion on the motion. And so, um, is there any objection to approving this motion? Seeing none, uh, we can consider the motion adopted unanimously. Thanks, folks. Um, the motion on the screen just for um oh on the screen uh, yeah 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 just so committee members can see it oh, yes sorry folks could you also email it yeah at the end okay so our second motion for today is titled compensation for international students uh consultation this was submitted by ishana and the question reads we're at it, it <laughs> Whereas the VP external is making an award for Indigenous students and international students. Whereas consultation is currently happening with students. Excuse me, consultations are currently happening with students. Whereas students should be compensated during these consultations. Be it resolved to pass $350 for consultations. Is there a mover for the motion? VP external. Ishana moves. Is there a second? I'll second. Grace and seconds. Shana, I'll pass the uh, floor to you. Yes, so I know we passed um, money during the last um, ECA meeting. I think that was for $300. Um, so what ended up happening there, just as an update, instead of giving it to, I think it was about six students we passed money up to, um, I talked to um, FNMI say when consulting with for the Indigenous student side of this award, and they're like, oh, hey, instead of giving it to only six students, um, why don't we just buy food for the whole of FNMISA with the $300 for their next meeting. Um, and then during that consultation, it'll just be the SFS is providing food. Um, and that I was like, yeah, of course, whatever is wanted by the folks um, 
doing the consultations. Um, so then this next $350 is for international student consultations. Um, and then I've already talked to the folks. The folks I am consulting with are from SOCA, Migrant Students United, which is um, an international students groups here. Um, and I'm also talking to a student from the International Students Center. So then consultation should be done by the end of the month. And this is all the money that's needed. So I actually did the correct financial thing now. <laughs> so that's why this motion came a second time. Questions? Sounds good. Next one. Yeah. Awesome. Cool, cool. Um, we'll move to uh, adopting the motion then. Is there any objections to adopting the motion? Seeing no objections, we can consider the motion uh, adopted unanimously. So that can con uh, concludes new business. We can move on to our discussion items. And our first discussion item is 11.1, .1, which is uh, uh, titled Tuition Freeze Tabling. Sean. Yeah. Um, so I know last time we kind of talked about tabling for tuition freeze. Now I'm thinking maybe we can like hammer out a bit of the details. I'm wondering if folks would be free. I'm going to send out um, some times that we can meet up, but I was wondering if there would be appetite for folks to like come meet in the exec office. I can just grab some snacks and then maybe we can make posters, um, just brainstorm more of what we want to do during tabling and then figuring out a time. But would folks be free maybe, I don't know if next week, but the week after to do that? And would you like to do some time like in person in the exec office? It's the week before reading week. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it during reading. I think, yeah, I think that's the week yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Any objections to that? I just wanted to bring up that idea. I don't want to do all the details here right now, but. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. That's all. Okay, I'll send details then, and then I'll plan that out. All right, food security updates. Yeah, so there's a lot coming. Um, so the breakfast program, it was hammered out by myself and the operations organizer at the SFSS. We sat down in a room and just figured everything out. Um, so we have a grocery list. We're thinking the first day of the breakfast program. Um, by the way, the breakfast program is like a free breakfast we're going to do once a week every week, and we're going to switch up the days. The first one we're thinking maybe the 16th or 17th. We're still waiting on the Fraser Health Permit. Um, and then we're, it's basically just going to be like toast. So students will just toast bread. We're going to have gluten-free options, vegan options. We're going to have peanut butter jam, um, a bunch of things, even like avocados and stuff because people like avocado toast. <laughs> um, and then we're planning on having like uh, a lot of like fruits because that's what's wanted by students right now after talking to them. So we're going to get bananas, oranges, apples. Um, so then they'll get like as much toast as they want with fruits and then we're going to have maybe like juice or coffee we're still figuring out like the kind of money and logistics on it um but basically that's going to be happening very soon and i will update the committee more about it once i have greater detail um the next thing is munchy mondays the last one unfortunately got canceled because execs weren't able to meet up but the next one for sure is this upcoming monday um i think that's february 6th if I'm correct. Um, so then that'll be from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Um, and then it'll just be exact and then we already have everything bought. Um, we just have to buy the fruits and stuff fresh the day of. Otherwise, that's it for food security updates, I think. Any questions, any comments? Comment on for breakfast, I think it was. I think a good option would be eggs, just because it's all nutrient dense. Um, I don't know how like, the cost what eggs are right now, but I think there'll just be something to consider. So. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. This um, right now we're just starting off this toast is like kind of the starter thing because we don't know how it's really going to play right. out. But definitely thinking like I'm gonna come back and debrief with you folks and then see how we could have done it better, what we can do. Sorry, folks, I'll turn off my phone. Um, but I'm just thinking like if we want eggs next time, um, we can figure that out with the whole permit. Yeah, toast is a good idea though. Nice and simple. Yeah, a lot of people like it. <laughs> Cool. Federal Lobby Days update. Um, yeah, sorry, I'll need to pull up my notes for this one. There are just, I'm just um, letting you folks know who our meetings are with and things like that. Um, um, yes, Federal Lobby Days update. So basically, we have a couple confirmed um, 
what do you call it? A couple confirmed meetings so far. We have one with MP Ariel Kayabaka. We have the next one with, with, with MP Salma Zahif. MP Tracy Gray, um, also with the Canadian Federation of Students, and I think one or two more MPs. Um, we're still figuring out like our days, but after going through kind of that itinerary with staff, it's like three meetings per day and like the prep is like an hour, so like full days. Um, after coming back from lobby days, I'll be presenting to you folks about what we kind of talked about, what went on. Um, uh, I know this is also like a great chance for this for the society to make long lasting relationships with these MPs um, and having their contacts and things like that. So that's basically updates there. All the money is passed, accommodation is booked, um, flights are booked and everything. Um, in terms of the actual lobbying asks, the briefing notes are basically done. Now we just have to make it look nice and put it into a nice little package. And then um, I'll be sending that to you folks as well. Are um are all those MPs uh liberal MPs? No, so that some of them are conservative, some of them because we're nonpartisan, so we just met up with whoever we I think because I forgot which MP is representing yeah. it, but I think some of them are like I'm just curious if we're meeting with different parties. Yeah, no, definitely meeting with different parties. Yeah, thanks for asking. Nice questions. Um Question, comment, uh, after lobby days, uh, I think we should probably check in with our local MPs. Mm -hmm. It's probably something you guys had in mind already. Just sort of do the rounds and be with them. Yeah. Yeah. I guess update there. So Gabe and I actually met with a lot of MPs at the start of the term, and then we sent them emails, I think, once the new municipal um, elected folks came in. Yeah. So we're still just trying to get yeah. yeah. an update there. Well, okay, so there's a couple of different levels of government here. We met with, at the beginning of the year, we met with uh, a number of municipal leaders um, from the city of Burnaby, as well as from the city of um, Surrey. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning of the year, we met with, who this is going back a long time now, we met with Alison Gu, who's a city councillor in Burnaby. We met with um, then Mayor McCallum <coughs> of Surrey. Mm -hmm. um, at the provincial level, we met with uh, Katrina Chen, who did meet with her, right? Um, who represents uh, her uh, SFU is within her constituency, so we met with her. We met with uh, MLA Anne Kane. Um, she is an MLA for Burnaby, but we were meeting with her in her capacity uh, as the then Minister of Advanced uh, Education and Skills Training. Um, uh, and a number of other ministers as well. If folks would want, I actually have a whole list of all, of all the government folks I actually met up with in the notes. Mm -hmm. So if you want, I have a, like a master list. I can share that with you and I'm more than happy to. I presented who I met with at council, I think at the end of summer la last year. Yep. So then I think if, you know what, I'll just send you that who I met with and what we talked about. And then if you want to meet with them again, I can set those up for us. Sure, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, we met with a bunch. I literally yeah. cannot think that. But in terms of MPs, we never actually. So Tara Beach is the MP for Burnaby North Seymour, which is the right this writing. Um, we reached out to him. He put us in the meeting queue, whatever the fuck that means. Um, <laughs> and we never heard back. Um, right. So uh, it might be worth reaching out again. Yeah, yeah I think it's an all up. We're. I mean, we're lucky. We've got some pretty heavy hitters. Um, over in North Van, Minister of Resources, uh, and, and Coquitlam, or Coquitlam, Minister of Safety. So if there's any like big issues we want to tackle or pester them about this year, yeah. um, you know, we've got fairly easy access to set up a meeting. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That's something we can definitely do. And it's also a bit easier as well, because a number of these ministers are new. And when you're a or new minister, positions, yeah. yeah, they're yeah. more likely to want to meet with you and they're more open to meeting with new people mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, some, excuse me, there's something in my eye, but um, folks who have been in government for multiple years are kind of just like, I know what's going on. Well, yeah, like, their, their schedule's full and everything. That too. They're, you know, they don't want any uh, new problems to deal with. Exactly. Excuse me while I just continue rubbing my eye, but is there, is there any further discussion or question? Um, yeah, just to follow back on 
that, um, I'll definitely send that list. And then if, if you folks want to meet up with anyone, let me know and I can make it happen. We can talk about what you want to talk about. Because yeah. we have fairly, like, that's why we have these resources and staff to help out mm -hmm. as well. We'll send those emails out and get that happening. That's great. Yeah, of course. It's really fun meeting yeah. with people. Really fun. Yeah. We can even like, maybe we can like try and grab like a lunch with like a minister one day. Yeah. Like, just, yeah. Or something else. Yeah. yeah. Currently, some meetings that are pending are we uh, reached out to the new minister of um, it's called post secondary education now, um, Selena Robinson, and she uh, sent us a letter back saying she would like to meet with us when her schedule allows, and we have responded saying, "Yeah, just let us know yeah. what your schedule looks like." Um, we're yet. Uh, have you heard back? No, no, I haven't. I actually checked two days ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're just waiting on that. We've also reached out to the new Minister of Housing, um, Ravi Cal, 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 Cal on. Um, and we're waiting to hear back as well from uh, his uh, minister's office. Was there a third one we reached out to? Yes, but I cannot remember. Oh, uh, Premier Evie. Oh, yes. Um, but they did not give us time. <laughs> they He's going to be so busy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, they, they said that they appreciated our like, congratulations and stuff, but I think they just yeah. have there a lot yeah. of meetings yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yes. I mean, yeah, Selena would be good to talk to. She's been in a lot of different positions, so she would probably give us insight on all sorts of different things. Yeah. Totally. Exciting. Yeah, the letter to the minute the premier's office was kind of a shot in the dark. We were like, he's either going to say yes or maybe next year. Do you? Yeah. Well, our kids went to the same daycare. Oh, so that's when cool. I met him when he was um, uh, for the Molly Four Point Grey. Yeah. 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 Well, that's cool. I don't know him now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Sounds great. We good on that then? Yeah. And that's all there's already been good with it. That's all we have. Yes. You have a, a reminder. Oh, ignore that. Ignore, ignore the reminder. Do not fill out the one to me if <laughs> there is none. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. <laughs> Okay, well, um, we have no more business on our agenda for today, so the only thing that's left is to approve the adjournment for today. So is there a mover for adjourning the meeting? Shauna, is there, is there a second? I second it. Good job, seconds. Um, I am going to assume that we have unanimous consent to adjourn the meeting, and so the chair declares the meeting adjourned. It is 12.52 p.m. Thank you. Also, you know what I learned, and this is something that you should share with all other chairs as well. You actually, if there's a 